Today we're going to be diving into more conspiracies that TikTok has to offer. Let's get into it. What if I told you the universe don't interfere with the government tactics because they're not breaking universal laws? Would you believe me? I don't care if you're good or evil. There are certain laws in the universe we all must live by. And if people can find a way to get around these laws, karma don't come back to them. Life in the universe is all about growth. So if you are going through something in your life right now where you're trying to wake up, the universe is going to support you. Remember, there was a time where the woke people were asleep and the universe still supported us. It's important to understand this because once you get in the matrix, you understand that there are certain things that just don't seem right. Especially when you wake up and you try to help other people wake up and they just won't wake up. It goes by natural laws of the universe. What the government did was they lowered our vibration and made us forget about love and oneness. But once we forgot about love and oneness, our vibration on this planet actually dropped. Therefore, they can break universal laws and not break it at the same time. It made us drop to our knees and pray and beg for a God outside of ourselves. So as long as you're waiting for someone to save you, you will never be saved. The real universe is within us, but they told us it's out there. Remember, knowledge and wisdom is our birthright. We was born with these things. They're not given to us. They're born within us. I've been on my spiritual journey since 2010. I was so-called woke when it wasn't even cool to be woke. Now it's a cool thing, but I came across certain knowledge whereas I learned about real freedom and how to break the rules of the matrix. Everyone on this planet is supposed to be free. Go back within and overstand the universe that's within you. Once you overstand this, nothing outside of you can actually break you. I like this conspiracy theory. It's fun, but in reality, I think what it all boils down to is just be the best you can be for yourself and always treat others how you personally would like to be treated and it will all come back around to help you in the end. It just always seems to be, you know, be the best you can be to others, be the best you can be for yourself, and it will work out for however you need it to be. You just have to keep pushing yourself for whatever it is that you are needing to have accomplished. Behind the scenes of power, there exists an enigmatic personality that raises unsettling questions. This secret president, Biden, rouses doubts and speculations. Is he a human being, a clone, or even a robot? Upon closer examination of some of his appearances, unusual behaviors emerge reactions that seem almost artificial are these mere coincidences or is there something much deeper to uncover this mystery intrigues and beckons us to delve into the hidden truth behind this enigmatic figure it's time to venture into the unknown and ponder what lies behind the mask of this secret president the answer may reveal far more than we ever imagine. I wouldn't say he's a robot or anything like that. I definitely think that he is old and his mind not, might not be working quite as well as it used to be. And he's having trouble keeping up with everything that he has to keep up with. And also, it's a good possibility that he might have body doubles, you know, for when he's not feeling well. People have to come out and do his role and look like him. And I think that's why there's a lot of fake looking Joe Bidens is because I think they're just people in masks covering for him. I don't know. It's weird. It's a very weird situation, but I think it really boils down to his age is really affecting him. What do you guys think? Yep, this terrifying situation is about to come true and 2024 may be the start of a new ice age. Citizens were terrified after scientists confirmed that Italy and the rest of the world is in big danger and there's not much we can do. Volcano Campi Fragre is said to be the world's second most powerful volcano and it's about to erupt. And when it erupts, it can cause the same damage as Pompeii to the world. The issue is that Campi Fragre currently lays on top of magma that is reported to be connected to Mount Vesuvius. This means that when Campi Fragre erupts, it's believed both volcanoes could go off at the same time, causing not only destruction of Italy, but possibly turning the entirety of Earth into a permanent winter for up to three years. 
not only affecting the crops, but the air quality and our drinking water won't be safe anymore. Currently, there is a big chance the Campi Fragre could go off in the very near future, with 1,100 earthquakes happening near Naples in just the past month with a study from the Communications Earth and Environmental Journal saying that this eruption is a realistic possibility. Time to head to the moon. Dang, could you imagine a world where you're just living in winter for three to four years straight of just volcanic winter? That'd be crazy. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I make videos like this almost every other day. Hey, yo, I have, I have a crazy theory for you. I have a question for you first. All right. So would you consider the earth an organism? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah. Now, in a sense, the world is living. Yeah. Right? In a sense, the world kind of has veins. It has, has almost even like... Like a heartbeat too, if you think about it. Yeah, like a heartbeat. Even has like a nervous system. Yeah. If you think about the roots and the plants and all of the things it's attached to in the earth, mm -hmm. it's all connected, right? It's all connected. Now, there's this theory saying... The earth is a being, it's an organism, and the humans are kind of the virus. So the earth, oh. so when we when we get sick, when a human gets sick, right? Yeah. We create antibodies to, to get rid of the virus. To get rid of the virus, right? Yeah. So in the same sense, the earth will create natural disasters, oh. famine, drought, wildfire, uh -huh. to kill off the virus. The kill <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nah, that that's that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy to think about. Just think about it, bro. We hurt the earth, right? Yeah. We're doing worse for the earth than the better. This conspiracy is really fun. I used to have one kind of similar that I thought to myself as, you know, the earth itself was a big plant and it sustained life. So basically when life died, it recycled itself back into the earth and that's how the earth sustained itself. It's a wild imagination that I had when I was a kid. This kind of almost is the same thing, but in this in this instance, it, we're talking about Earth looks us as a, ah, we're looking at it as Earth looks at us as a virus, and it keeps trying to like clean itself from the virus with natural disasters and stuff. Which I think that if Earth looked at us as a virus, it would do a lot better job at wiping us out if it really wanted to get rid of the virus. But it is still a fun conspiracy. Let me know what you guys think about this one. My name is Alex Collier, and I am from the United States of America. And ever since I was eight years old, I have been having contact with a group of human beings from the constellation of Andromeda, which is in our own galaxy. For 40 years, I have... Uh have had a relationship with human beings from the constellation of Andromeda. I have for 30 years been visited and taken on board by beings who live in the constellation of Andromeda. They are light blue. The, they look like that color of that, but they have no hair. Okay, they're, it's, it's interesting, given quite a few strands of hair away. <laughs> Dang, could you imagine going your whole life telling people that there is these extraterrestrial beings that you have contact with that you've traveled to their planet and all of these things like that would be crazy and like you're here to tell it and there's no personal evidence like were you not able to take a camcorder a picture taking device of any kind that would be pretty amazing for someone to have such great contacts and connections with these people or these aliens basically and we don't really have nothing to show for it other than what it's like to visit them and what they are like you know there's no pictures of them or anything like that i i would love to believe it i i love the idea that you know there's people out there in the world that have these connections to aliens and they've traveled to their planets and things like that that sounds awesome and hopefully it happens to me one day i'm down for it but uh i would love to see more evidence of things when people say that they have these great connections for years decades and it's just like they don't really have much to show for it. Mine's a little dark. I just feel a lot of concern that 2024 may be the year of a black swan event.
This is a national security event with high impact that's very hard to predict. Um, there are a number of cons uh, concerns that I have that factor into that, and not only this uh, sort of enduring heightened threat level that we're facing, uh, the wars in Israel, also Ukraine, and we're so divided in this country in ways that we haven't seen before, and I think that just creates fertile ground for our adversaries like North Korea, China, and Iran, and that's what uh, concerns me most. With us being in the new year of 2024, we're going to have to see a bit. I, I, there's really nothing to say other than we just got to wait and see. I mean, a lot of people are saying that bad stuff is going to happen in 2024. And all I can say is let's hope not. There was a guy that was talking about how there's a secret government that our government don't even know about. So he was basically saying that this secret government has its own Navy, has its own Air Force, has its own funding system. And it's like completely secret to the people. They have technology that's like more advanced than our most advanced plane that we have. They learn to take energy out of a small area. It's like some advanced physics. And it's something like if we give it to the people, there'll be free energy all around the world. Damn, we're definitely on Mars, bro. If we got something like that, you put that in an engine bro we're on mars that's bro. what i'm saying but it's like what is the point of having something that low-key for weapons like we know there's aliens so aliens coming to fight us we need something defense also like control you say really start rioting russia act up or something anybody act up now we have something like a real deterrent like yo calm down before like a nuke low-key before we dropped the nuke nobody knew what a nuke was yeah now everybody got nukes so yeah. are you gotta drop a nuke nah we are 10 steps ahead i love conspiracies about super secret organizations but the thing that always falls off for me when it comes to super secret organizations, especially, especially if we're talking about organizations that our governments don't even know about, it's like, then how do we know about it? It just doesn't make sense that we just accidentally see this super secret organization and they went, shh, they didn't see us. And then Homer Simpson faded back into the bushes. Like, I just don't see a super secret organization. I even have my doubts about the Illuminati, to be honest with you. Because if they wanted to remain so secret, how do we know about them, you know? That's not very secretive. So to say that there's a super secret organization that even our governments don't under, that just don't know about it, and it, what happens when they make the call at these super secret organizations, like say they want to cause this world event are they they just do it they like what like how does that happen do they have an inside man that just works at a government facility like the army that also just has this has a a side phone for the super secret government that owns their own super secret phone company that allows for them to super secretly contact the guy that's in the army that says hey we need to drop bombs in this place how does that work? Let me know what your guys' thoughts are about that. Look at this and tell me if you recognize anything there. Yes, I do. It looks, it resembles a panel that I saw at the structure in Antarctica. That was the panel that had the star map on it. And the star map, do you know? The, from what they could uh, estimate, it was not only our universe, but three universes combined in one large star map. The focal point was what our Hubble Space Telescope has photographed and recorded at that time. And then they correlated what the Hubble Space Telescope had taken photographs of that was not in our universe, but actually a different universe outside, further out than what we think our universe is. I know that what you just said to me was that we were using the Hubble to photograph in another universe outside of this universe. Yes, ma'am. And then another universe. Yes, ma'am. The way it was described to me, they were taking mathematical equations, formulas, from different points of our universe and pinpointing it to photographs or recordings that was made by our Hubble Space Telescope, which at that time was the best technological device that we had at that time. Was this generated by extraterrestrial beings? Yes, ma'am. I'm always a big fan of conspiracies about star maps and stargates and things like that because that would be awesome if that was a real thing. That would explain 
so much of our past if we had stargate technology or transportation technology that allowed you to take one object from one distance to another instantly that's always an interesting thing especially when it comes to intergalactic space travel i'm very interested in these conspiracies because it is fun to think that maybe we had that kind of technology in the past and we just lost it or maybe governments keep that for themselves for some reason and they just no longer allow us access to it but it is fun conspiracy i like it a lot there's something they're not telling us that is so gnarly that um, they don't think people can handle it say these these aliens wherever they're from made us they were a genetic experiment that they created our religions our religious figures that we are an agricultural product that somehow they harvest us that our time is limited, you know, that once the experiment's over, poof, we go away. I remember when there was a push back to have an intelligent design universe in the schools, and I wrote a column about it, just said, hey, be careful what you wish for, because you might find out that the intelligent designer isn't God that you're thinking of. It might be some alien science project or something like that. Uh, you know, that you can imagine a lot of different things that would be really disturbing to people to come out. All I'm saying is I'm pretty sure I personally would be able to handle if someone, if, if aliens came down from the sky and said, hey, we created you as a test project. I'm cool with that. I mean, as long as you don't destroy our planet after you tell me that, I have no problems with being a test subject. I have no problems with there not being an actual god or an afterlife or anything like that. Like. I love my life. I like this planet that you've so happened to let us be a test subject on. I would not have a problem with that personally. If someone or an entity told me that, you know, hey, we're just created out of an experiment and there's nothing much going on for us other than that, I'm down. I have no problems with it. Just leave me be afterwards. I'm okay. There are rumors of a secret government laboratory creating bioweapons, animal hybrids, and even human experiments. This is Plum Island. Less than two miles off the coast of Rhode Island is a small island owned by the U.S. government, which is unidentified on most maps. Even if you have top-level clearance, access is invite only. The official purpose for the facility was for the Plum Island Animal Disease Center, a federal research facility that studied livestock-related disease. But the truth about Plum Island is much darker. For years, stories circulated that Plum Island was conducting genetic experiments on animals and even humans. Then people started to find bizarre bodies of strange animals that had washed up on shore just across the island. One of those bodies became known as the Montauk Monster. Then another animal washed up on shore that could not be identified. And then another one. And then two more. And one of those animals became known as the Manhattan Monster. Now this animal looked like a pig, but rather than having hoofs, it had five toes and appeared to have claws. Plum Island was only a few miles away from where the bodies were found, and locals have been hearing rumors that it was a top-secret facility creating bioweapons, animal hybrids, and even experimenting on humans, which sounds like a really wild theory. Then in 2010, the body of a man was found on Plum Island by a local security guard, and the body had abnormally long fingers which seemed to be mutated. But the scariest part was, the man's skull had five holes drilled into it, indicating an invasive brain surgery or experimentation. So what is actually going on at Plum Island? Coincidence? I've never heard of Plum Island before. That's pretty interesting. I... That's... That's pretty interesting. What would be the purpose of making animal hybrids? Like... That would be my ultimate question. If that's what they're doing there, what would be the purpose of that? Is it for like some kind of military gain? To have some kind of advanced animal hybrid thing that can just go out there, fly, swim dig into the ground all at once type of deal. Uh, I just don't understand what the purpose of doing animal mutations would be necessarily. Uh, and then with the human experimentations, I kind of understand a little bit more because you're trying to genetically modify a human for better attributes. Like maybe it can make them faster. Maybe it can make them stronger. Maybe it can make them more stealthier. Maybe it, like there's so many other things that could be done if you're doing human experiments instead of animal mutations. I, I don't really understand why you would be doing that other than maybe you're trying to create an animal that's specifically good at goals that just one particular animal is good at. 
interesting conspiracy, never heard of it before. What do you guys think of Plum Island? Do you think it's just a regular animal disease control facility, or do you think there's some wild stuff going on out there? Government Conspiracies Part 3 Look, the CIA has done in this country, what they've done to us is unbelievable. Look at the terrorist acts that have occurred. The CIA behind most, if not all of them. We had the Marine Barracks, their embassy in Kenya. We had Pan Am 103. We had the USS Cole. Uh, we had Oklahoma City. We had the World Trade Center in 1993. That helped the terrorists blow up the World Trade Center the first time. They built the bomb. They, they've got the driver's license. The informant, the informant, fellow named Salam, a 43-year-old former Egyptian uh, army officer, he, he was given the assignment to put the bomb together. And he went to his supervisor, his FBI supervisor, and said, we're going to put a dummy bomb in here, right? He's, and the FBI supervisor said, no, we're going to put a real bomb. FBI agents might have been able to prevent last February's deadly explosion at New York's World Trade Center. They discussed secretly substituting harmless powder for the explosives, but they didn't, according to the FBI's own informant, Imad Salem. Unbeknownst to the FBI at the time, Salem recorded many of his conversations with his hand the Twin Towers is up there next to the biggest conspiracies in the United States. I can't really say whether I think it's fake or not because I, I don't know. I do not know deconstruction of buildings. I do not know how all of that works. All I know is what I hear on the internet and a lot of people saying that it was, you know, an organized setup. And it definitely looks like it, but again, I really do not know because I don't know how that stuff works exactly. So I, I can't say. What do you guys think of this conspiracy? I'm not even sure what just happened. Like, they were looking at the moon. That was CGI, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, let me look at the comments, see what the comments have to say. Yeah, I mean, it looks like everybody in the comments is pretty much agreeing that this is some kind of video editing trick. It's definitely a pretty good looking video editing trick. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, looks like it's a fake video. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here today. These conspiracies were, they were all right. Uh, let me know in the comments down below on what you would like for me to react to next. And with that being said, have a good day.